take a look at Spain in major tournaments, in recent major tournaments. Obviously, we know the success they had in that golden run where they were champions in two Euros and the World Cup. All in a row, those tournaments. And it was the group stage exit, that World Cup curse in 2014. Euro 2016 quarterfinals came out against Italy, came out against Italy in the semis in Euro 2020 as well. And it was the round of 16, which was a surprise in the 2018 World Cup to Russia. So all eyes on how they will be doing this time around, especially because I feel, Luis, that they surprised many in Euro 2020. So what did we see from them today? What type of style did we see? What type of chemistry? Because one thing we know with Luis Enrique is that he pips the players based on his system and his style rather than the players that might necessarily be informed with their sides. Yes, it's, it's like the EK. I think that Luis Enrique has been always very earnest about this. I need to I need to bring the players that I trust that they're going to work with me. The way that they've been working with me has been uh, uh, good. So I'm not going to uh, see what they are doing in the in their own team. So that's why today we've seen once again a very different eleven for what we were expecting with Ansu Fati, Asensio, Sarabia front and Carvajal, Laporta as a left back because uh, Gaia, the the left back is a little bit injured and he wanted to ma make sure that uh, Jordi Alba is going to be ready for the first game against Costa Rica. And we saw a little bit what we are expecting of uh, this uh, Spain national team. A team that can have the ball. We didn't see much of Pedri and, and Gabi. Gabi played for quite a few minutes in the, push in the same position that we expect him to play. But no Busquets in the middle of the park. The player who will uh, be playing in the, in the middle. A lot of possession, um, a few actions from three goals that they could have been a few more. But once again, consider so many chances. They received one goal, but it could have been uh, two or even three goals. And that's something that you cannot allow. If you are right to the first game, yes, with the doubts of we are conceding, we are allowing the opponent to believe, you're going to face uh, teams with a lot more quality up front that they can be very uh, difficult to stop. And I think that's why... Spain at the moment, they are strong. It's a strong team, very young. We don't know how they're going to handle the, the pressure because it's true that the, these players are ready, uh, have been playing for quite a long time, a li well, a long time, two, two three years in, in the top level, in the highest level, but still not play in the World Cup. I think most of them, I think only two or three have played in, in other World Cups. So a lot of pressure on this team, a lot of expectation here in Spain, but definitely a lot of doubts also in the back line. Where are the goals going to come from, Luis, when it comes to the crunch? Yeah, that's, the, that's what everybody would like to know because we don't have a, a lot of strikers up front, players who can uh, score goals. We got Morata that didn't play today, so everybody's expecting him to play. Asensio also is a player who likes uh, and, and is well organized there up front uh, to scoring goals. And of course, everybody is uh, relaying on Ansu Fati that looks sharp now, looks confident when he's on the ball. He can uh, do something, he can happen things. And, but uh, the rest of the players, they are not players who can score 10 goals during the season. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see how this Luis Enrique team is going to uh, find a way to, to get the net. But it's not going to be easy. And we all know that we are going to miss the ones like Diago Aspas or uh, Borja Iglesias players who have been scoring goals in the past months with their domestic, uh, well, with the teams uh, at home. Do you think they're going to surprise a few again here, Ale? Or do you think this might be a tougher task for them? What is a surprise for Spain? If they win their group, is that a surprise? Probably if they go above Germany, maybe. But I look at Spain, and this is a talented team through the midfield, but limited team in the centre-back pairing and limited team as to what they do in the centre-forward position. If you're still depending on Álvaro Morata to score the big goals for you, Good luck with that, because he may do it today, but he's not going to do it tomorrow. He hasn't shown to have that consistency. I love me some Pedri. I love me some Gabi. I think Busquets through with the national team has been even better than he has played with Barcelona. And I think those three working together will give Spain possession of the ball. But once they lose it, that center-back pairing scares me if I'm Spain. And then you go beyond the center-back pairing, and Unai Simón is a guy who can come up with a big save. Spectacular save, but then he can come up with some mistakes that you just kind of go, where did that come from? Where did that come from? It's been coming because he shows you every game that there is something about him as a goalkeeper that doesn't really feel reliable. We saw it in the Euros. 
We saw it in the past that Pedri gives him back and goes over the foot of Unai Simón. You think those things don't, 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 hang, don't hang around his head? They do. In big moments, Unai Simón is a guy that is shaky. The center backs, also shaky. It's going to be all about the midfield and the guys on the outside that can make Spain dangerous. If they control the possession and the pace of the game, Spain will be good. If not, this could be a problem for Spain throughout the course of the World Cup. How, how scary is it when you've got a Spaniard telling us that they're going to miss Tiago Aspas. Tiago Aspas. <laughs> that, that kind of no, no, no disrespect to him. He's, he walks his, he, he walks his, you know what, so often he's, he's a good teammate and he, he's great running off the ball and closing the ball down. But if we've got a Spaniard telling us they're going to miss Aspas, then that tells you what they think of their team. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.